Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Wanted to first show you the visible satellite loop here. And again, I know I've shown this graphic many times, but we still have plenty of smoke and haze out there. Wanted to show you the smoke and the direction of where that smoke is moving. Unfortunately, with that relatively new fire, the Delta fire, a lot of that smoke is moving up towards the uh, Siskiyou County area and then unfortunately aloft right into Klamath County and then off to the northeast there. This is why we're seeing some uh, deterioration right now in the air quality in these areas. The smoke continues though from the Natchez fire and the Klondike fire, even the Miles fire, and it's moving off to the north northeast, but we're starting to get more of a westerly flow. So unfortunately, that's pushing more of the smoke here into Jackson County along the coast. No real problems, but there is some fog that continues to decrease. It'll increase again later on tonight into tomorrow morning. We also have some changes off to the west and northwest. Here's a cold front right here, and we've got a storm system. There is cooler air behind this cold front. This is what's going to be moving in. The first front is going to be moving in later Friday night into Saturday morning. It's going to weaken, though, as it moves off to the east. But with this front, it's going to switch around our winds and probably help clean out our air for the weekend. There's a stronger front or a stronger series of fronts that will be moving in early next week. And what that means is, we're going to start to feel like fall around here with cooler temperatures. That's good news, not only for the smoke and haze, but it's also good news that there's chances for some rain coming up. But right now, the best chance is going to be for the coast. All right, our first cold front getting closer to us on Friday during the morning hours. We're going to see some fog and low clouds in the coast, some clouds passing through overhead and smoke and haze around. Here's our cold front. It moves inland, but it starts to diminish in strength as it heads off to the east, but it'll be enough where there could be a few showers here for the coast right into Saturday morning, maybe into Douglas County. After that, during the day, we have more sunshine mixing in with some clouds and temperatures won't be as warm here in the Rogue Valley on Saturday or Sunday. Our forecast for the coast lows will be in the 40s and 50s and your highs generally in the 50s and 60s for your Friday. We have areas of fog and low clouds will be filling in overnight tonight, maybe some drizzle overnight into tomorrow morning. We'll see more sunshine try to break out during the day and moving inland areas of smoke and haze. It will be dense at times with lows in the 40s and 50s. Your highs generally 80s and 90s with sunshine mixing with clouds for your Friday. Again, we will have areas of haze and smoke east of the Cascades. Lows will range from the 30s through the 40s. Some areas into the 50s. Paisley 51, 84 and 53 and 66 for your numbers, Crater Lake. The areas of haze and smoke will continue tonight and also into tomorrow. We'll have sunshine mixing with clouds for your Friday. But check out the seven day forecast for the Rogue Valley. Look at the temperatures here. I'm going for 91 on Friday. You can see a little bit more of a cool down for the weekend with more sunshine. And I do expect the air quality to increase coming up into the weekend and especially next week as we get even cooler temperatures and we have clouds mixing it with sunshine right now. Wednesday that may end up being our strongest front. Uh, right now, I'm putting in sunshine, mixing it with a bunch of clouds. There is an outside chance that we could see some rain. I haven't put in the forecast yet because it really isn't a great chance and it's really far out and there's probably going to be a lot of changes before that day coming up. So I'll probably be updating things. Let's hope that we can put some rain in there. Our temperatures in the 70s and 80s for highs, Klamath Basin, then cooling down more next week, feeling fall like with temperatures in the 60s and 70s for highs and lows generally in the 30s and 40s for Mount Shasta City. We have temperatures in the 40s and 50s for lows, highs in the 80s, and then down to the 70s, maybe even cooler next week. Again, there will be areas of smoke and haze. Uh, the temperatures for the coast will be in the 40s and 50s for lows, highs in the 50s and 60s. I've got a slight chance for a few showers Friday night to Saturday morning with the first front and then more chances for showers slight on Monday and Wednesday, a chance on Tuesday.